Hey everyone, Tim Stratfler here with Divi Life, and we are back with another November tutorial. All month long so far for November, we've been running our Divember campaign where we have been doing Divi tutorials. We've been giving away Divi freebies. We have been launching new features to some of our existing Divi products, as well as doing some special Divember uh, discounts, essentially. And this is all leading up to our insane Black Friday uh, product release, sale, promotion, whatever you want to call it, that is happening on Friday, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna be launching some epic new products for Divi as well as the biggest sale of the year, so definitely stay tuned. But today, we're going to be doing a Divi tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and dive right in, and it is a simple one, but super powerful, and it's how to easily add a Divi menu button to your header, whether it's in uh, your default he header, whether it's in a Divi theme builder header, it's super easy to do. And then we also added some additional things to it so that you can really draw attention to your call to action button. And so this is what it looks like here. We've all seen it. It's very common today to be able to have a menu and then have a button. And so if you're using Divi's default menu, this tutorial is going to work. If you're using a Divi theme builder header that you created or using a template, then this tutorial will still work because it's going after the native WordPress menu system. And uh, on that note too, uh, definitely check out the rest of our Devember series yesterday, or I'm sorry, uh, a couple of days ago, we gave, gave away, we didn't fully give away, we practically gave away our header layout packs. Basically, we gave 85% off uh, normally they they sell for 50 and we're selling them right now as a Devember special for five bucks. They've been flying off the shelves. It's a really good deal. So definitely don't miss out on that. So you can check out what they look like here. Uh, but this tutorial is not about the headers. So just wanted to mention that. So let's get back to our tutorial today, how to add a call to action button to Divi. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is you want to want to open up your menu so you go to appearance and let me just make sure that uh, we can all see this i'm going to zoom out a little bit here okay that should be good so we're going to go to appearance and then we're going to go to menus and uh, then you're what you're going to do is you need to go up into screen options which is the top right you're going to click on screen options and then you're going to make sure that the css classes is open or I'm sorry enabled so just make sure that box is checked and then that will make sure that you can add a CSS class to your menu item and then once you do that you can go ahead and add the class to the menu and so you're going to open it up here and you'll see this box CSS classes so I'm going to go back to the blog post here and we're going to use the CSS class you don't have to use this this is just makes it easy because we have the code that you can just copy and paste but you can call this whatever you want so I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then I'm going to come back to my menus I'm going to go ahead and paste it just like that. You don't want a, a dot in front of it or anything like that. Oops, that's coming later. Um, you just want to make sure that it's just like this inside the menu. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit save. So that in and of itself is not going to do anything. Uh, we have to add the code to it. And so I'm going to come over here to the blog post and I'm going to copy this code. And then, whoops copy the code here, and then we're gonna go to Divi theme options. Now, if you are using a child theme and you place all your code in the style.css file, and that's where you're used to putting custom CSS, well, then you can go ahead and add it there. Uh, but otherwise, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go ahead and navigate to Divi and theme options, and then on the default tab, just scroll all the way down until you see this custom CSS box here. My head might be in the way, but you can see it's custom CSS. And then you're gonna paste that code just like that. And then you're gonna hit save. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So this is what my menu looks like by default. I have menu one, menu two, and join now just for demonstration purposes here. But I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. Now that we've added the CSS class, now that we've added the custom CSS, we're gonna, as soon as this page reloads, we're gonna have a nice call to action button for the join now link so you can see how it looks just like that so it's super simple and it looks great so we're super happy about that now you might be wondering okay well how does it look on mobile 
And so uh, it actually looks really good. So let me see if I can pop this open for you here. I'm, I'm over in Safari, so it might not work. Let me, let me just open up here. So we added some text to make it centered. So when this decides, so this is a local install here. Uh, it goes into our hamburger menu just like that. And so it's nice and centered inside of the hamburger menu. So it, it'll look good. Now, if you wanted to not have it on mobile and just have it on desktop, then you would basically add a CSS media query in front of it so that it won't go, uh, it'll only load the max width that it'll, it'll load on, uh, or I'm saying the minimum width that'll load on is 981 pixels. Uh, so if you need help with that, let us know in the comments and we'll, we'll give you the code so you can do that. But that's not officially a part of today's tutorial here. So that's it. That's all you do. So if you wanted to go in and you wanted to customize this, uh, you wanted to change the color. Okay, well, then you're just going to go ahead and change this background color here um, where it says background color. So pretty straightforward. Same thing, the, the padding. So uh, the the top padding, top bottom padding, as well as the side padding. Uh, you can change here uh, and then if you wanted to make it not rounded corners you can just remove the border radius or you can adjust that to, so to make it uh, fit the style of your other buttons and then same thing if you wanted it to be not all uppercase then you can just remove the text transform uppercase and then if for some reason you wanted a color other than white for the text of the button so not the background but the text then you would change that here and then the text line center that only comes into play for, for mobile. It's going to be centered uh, on desktop by default. But if, if you remove that, then it's going to be all funky on mobile. So I want to remove that unless we're not going to have it on mobile. So that's all you do. Now, we added some a, a bonus part to this tutorial. And so I'm going to come back here to my blog post. So first of all, we're all used to seeing this right here. This is nothing new. Like every website that you go to, for the most part, is going to have some sort of call to action button. And because users are so used to seeing it, it's almost as if their brain filters that out. It's, it's called ad blindness. It's like when you're, uh, you're driving uh, in somewhere where there's a ton of billboard ads, you, your brain just kind of ignores it because you're so used to seeing them that it's no longer catching your attention. Uh, same thing on websites. You probably don't even notice banner ads anymore. Your brain's so used to seeing it, so it filters it out and ignores it so it can focus on what you came there for, which is the content. The same thing goes with the call to action button. Users are used to seeing it, and so they might not even notice it. And I've actually been in that place where I'm looking for something. My brain has ignored the call to action button, and instead I'm looking for whatever I'm looking for in the main menu when it's right there in front of me and I think I can't find it and it's right there in the, the button all big and, and bold and uh, you know like a button and so uh, because of that there's some things that we can do to make our button stand out more and that is adding some animation now if you are watching my screen right now which you should be you should see this now this is a, a promo bar added with our Divi bars plugin you'll notice this learn more button it shakes or, or it wiggles, so to speak. So that is a feature that we have built into the Divi Bars plugin where you can add these little, what we call them, attention grabbers. So it'll grab the user's attention. Well, we basically pulled that code out of Divi Bars and we made it part of this tutorial so you can add it to your menu call to action button or anywhere on your site for that matter. So it does a nice little shake there. And so same thing with our, our headers that I mentioned. We added these headers uh, let me go to the header layout, the actual product page here. And so you'll notice, because these are on sale right now for 85% off, we we make this text shake. We don't want people to miss it. So it's like right there, you can't miss it. Uh, so you might be thinking, okay, well, I don't want to ignore my, or, I'm, or I don't want to annoy my visitors. I don't want them to be annoyed that I'm adding an attention grabber. And that is definitely something to consider. One thing though is we these attention grabbers aren't crazy so it's not like it's blowing up 300 percent or you know it's shaking constantly you know it does a little shake then it stops and then it's going to do another little shake and then it'll stop so it's not constantly shaking um, but again it's completely optional so you don't have to do it 
So, um, so let's, let's show you how to actually add that. So, uh, just like before, so you can see here, this is what the animations look like. There's wiggle and there's breathing wiggle wiggles and the breathing kind of does like a breathing effect. It's not, again, it's not constant. It'll do a nice inhale and then a nice exhale and then it stops. So, uh, you can add, um, either one of those, um, and so all you do is you copy and paste the class. Actually, I'm gonna, go, let's do breathing. And we're gonna add this back over to our menu. So go to appearance menus, and we're gonna add it to the join now button, and we're gonna add it after the Divi Live CTA menu class. But we just wanna add a space there. So you can see there's a, a space in between. You wanna make sure that there's a space there, otherwise it's gonna break everything. And we'll go ahead and hit save menu. Now, nothing's gonna happen yet, because again, we have to add the corresponding CSS. So we can just go and select all of this here. We wanna make sure we get all of it. I'm just gonna do a command, oops. It's not gonna let me do a command A on it, unfortunately. Okay. Normally I like to hit command A and it selects everything. So, okay, so that's all selected, great. So now we're gonna go back over to our site, go to Divi theme options or wherever you place your CSS code. And we're gonna paste it below and we're gonna hit save. Now that's the code for both the wiggle and the breathing. So that way you can easily switch back and forth if you want to. And so as soon as this refreshes our join now button, which could be easily ignored is now gonna have a nice subtle breathing effect, which makes it a lot harder for someone to just completely overlook. Uh, and so you can do the same thing with the wiggle. Obviously you would just add the CSS class for the wiggle and add it to the menu item. I probably wouldn't recommend adding both. That might be a little bit much. So uh, definitely just to choose. Now, if you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to our uh, email list here. It says big button, you can't miss it. Subscribe to Divi Life and never miss a tutorial or freebie. Probably should add a uh, breathing effect to this button so that you don't miss it or overlook it. And uh, when you click that, it's going to open up a pop-up with our plugin Divi Overlays and then uh, with the form where you can add your name and email. And then when we add new Divi tutorials, new Divi freebies, uh, new special offers, whatever, such as our $5 header pack, uh, then you'll get notified. And so, as I mentioned, we're leading up into big, our big Black Friday sale. It's the biggest sale of the year, and it's also when we launch basically all the products that we've been working on uh, all year long. And so it's going to be a big deal. Uh, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, and that is starting on Friday. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, it might be something where you've done it before uh, from a different tutorial, but hopefully we added something extra with the attention grabbers. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any requests for other tutorials, other things that you'd like to learn uh, that you'd like us to cover here on the blog. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Until tomorrow, take care. Bye-bye.